Okay, take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Hi guys. I have not been on here in months and months and months and I'll kind of get into why. But today I just wanted to do like a chatty get ready with me. I want to do my makeup. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather so I don't really want to do anything full glam or anything like that but I want to just make myself feel like I'm a little bit more made up. I have my makeup bag here from traveling and as I'm emptying it and putting stuff away that's how I'm gonna do my makeup with what's in here and you know I bring my like most favorite stuff or stuff that I want to try out and so um, yeah let's just get started so um, I kind of like abruptly stopped doing my channel um, and oddly enough it was when I tried to monetize I I don't know if I got scared or if I was just not wanting to do that or I, I, I can't figure out what happened but like this desire in me just like dropped out completely. I don't feel like I know enough about makeup really to like, I don't know, be useful I guess in YouTube. And so yeah, I think I kind of got scared. Um, I don't like paperwork and trying to figure out like taxes and all this stuff I like it just it, I don't know it just scared me and I felt like maybe I'm not good enough I mean I'm not a makeup artist oh I'm using um the physician's formula healthy foundation um I just got this recently and I really really like it I've always put it on with a sponge though and so I'm trying it out with a brush this time. I got these wet and wild brushes from Walgreens. But so here's my deal. I love makeup and I have fun doing makeup and it makes me feel good. And it's like a, a hobby. I haven't really had like a hobby. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. Um, we left them with my mother-in-law for Thanksgiving. And ever since then, um, my one little, little teeny tiny one um, that I got, I actually don't know if you guys have met her, um, her name's Sophie. Sophie, come here. Um, she is a little terrier mix and I was looking, so Mally, my other dog, Sophie, come. Come here, puppy. This is Sophie. Can you say hi? Say hi. And now Mally's getting jealous. Can you say hi? She needs a haircut. That's what you need, don't you? You need a haircut. Do you want to go play? You want to go play with Mally? Huh? Hi, Mally. I love these puppies. I love them a lot. Yes, I do. Okay, go play. Go play. Anyway, both of them have been very much like. I can't leave them alone. Um, yeah, so we left them for Thanksgiving and my mother-in-law is like amazing. She's so funny because she will like make them food every morning and you know, I don't do that. I give them their dog food and make sure they have water to drink and occasionally I'll give them a treat, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm, but she just loves our pups and so she, <laughs> She makes them all sorts of things. Um, but they have been very clingy this last little bit, especially Sophie. She We got her um, initially because Mally helped so much with my fibromyalgia and my pain. Sorry, come up here again. And she didn't, um, she doesn't like to cuddle. And I needed a dog to cuddle. And I'm not a cat person. Did you get some water? And... Um, and so we were looking around at all of the shelters and 
I kind of thought I knew what I wanted and um, we wanted a boy because Mally's a girl and so I had read that like you need to get so not the same gender and they sorry I need to keep going or I'm never gonna get my makeup done um, and so they uh, I thought we had looked at all these other dogs and then like on a whim I was like what about that little one in the back like it says says he's a boy and she was like oh Daisy and I was like no it said that it was a male dog and so my husband went back and got the number on her kennel and He's like, it's this number. And she's like, yeah, that's Daisy. And I'm like, oh, dang it. Like, that's not going to work because we wanted a, a male dog. And she's like, oh, she's so sweet. You just need to meet her. And I'm like, okay, what the heck? <laughs> and the first thing she did when we went in the little room to meet her is she ran straight from the door up into my lap and just like, sat and just like well she was shaking and it just made me feel so bad but she just stayed there like she did not want me to leave and oh my gosh it just like it broke my heart and it, like I don't know it made me feel good all at the same time I'm gonna just use my finger um and so that was it I was hooked and they were like well if you have another dog you need to bring that dog in so that they can meet and we can make sure that there's no problems with your two dogs I'm like okay but Mally's, um, she's not aggressive, but she is scared. She's very anxious dog. And so I was afraid that if we didn't like, if we met her in a place where she wasn't comfortable, that it would make it harder. And so I was worried about it, but we came home and we got Mally. I love this foundation, you guys. I don't know. My lights are so bright. I need to figure it out. I just... Like I said, I haven't been doing this for months and months, and so I just haven't yet. But, um, so we came home and we got Mally, and we went back, and they got along so well. Like, they weren't the best of friends, but they definitely, Mally was, like, just sniffing her and not growling at her or, you know, doing anything that she usually does to people that come to our front door. Um, and so... They were like, hey, looks good. Looks like she's gonna be a good fit for your home. And so we got to bring her home and it's been amazing. We got her in May. So, um, and she's five years old and she previously was in a house um, where the lady took her and then brought her back and said that she had had the opportunity to get a Yorkie and that's what she wanted. So she didn't want Sophie anymore. So anyway, her name was Daisy. We changed it to Sophie and we love her. And she is just the biggest cuddle bug. We kind of call her my Velcro dog. because She sticks to me like glue, but she sleeps by me and she's just everything I need. And I hope that we're everything she needs. And I hope that she loves being with us. But since Thanksgiving, they have both kind of just stuck right around me. Oh my gosh, I still got that stuff in my hair. Oh, well, whatever. So anyway, um, that was the Cody Airspun that I used to set my face. Um, and so we, uh, yeah. So that's been fun. It's been fun to have her around. And her and Mally are to the point where I don't know if they start playing and, you know, um, are having a good old time and they kind of look for each other when they're not together. So I'm just gonna use my butter bronzer. So um, the reason I stopped doing YouTube other than being scared and feeling like I wasn't quite worth my weight, I guess, in doing a YouTube channel because um, I maybe didn't know everything that I was doing um, was I really when I when I first started I felt like I needed to go get every brand new product everything and like it was around the time that we had gotten our taxes back and so like I wasted a ton of money on all of these products and I didn't have a lot to begin with and so it's good that I have some things that I can try now but I just felt overwhelmed. I felt like, how am I supposed to 
feel good about um, reviewing these products and trying to make people spend money, maybe, maybe money that they don't have. Um, cause I, it was money that I shouldn't have spent on makeup, I guess. And like I said, I'm glad that I have most of it, but I feel like I hate when I'm powdering my face and I'm trying to talk, I feel, or my neck rather, I feel like I, I don't want to put people in that predicament where they're like, oh, I have to buy this. Like, I, it was not a good feeling to feel stressed like that. And makeup should be fun. That's why I enjoy it. That's why I like doing it. And so I just couldn't, couldn't see how that would work. I couldn't see how I could be reviewing products and telling you my opinion and then encouraging you to buy stuff when who has the money for that? I mean, yeah, there's drugstore alternatives, but it doesn't mean that it's still like cheap or it doesn't mean that everybody has the money for that. And so I was like in this really kind of battle with myself about I can't suggest all these products and I can't buy all these products and how am I going to be a good reviewer when I can't suggest those, like I can't buy all the products, I guess. I didn't have the funds to be able to get everything that I felt like I wanted. And so I just stopped, which is probably not the right thing to do. I should have like figured something out if this is what I really want to do, but I, I didn't know how I couldn't figure out how. And so I just stopped. I just kind of gave up. And so I'm going to use the same wet and wild brush and just do my my blush, um, I'm just using Milani blush. I don't really want to talk about products I'm using because it kind of goes along with this thing. So I will um, just link everything below um, if I forget to mention it. But so I've continued to watch YouTube videos. It's like the number one thing that I watch and I still enjoy makeup so much and I've learned so much. Like I have been watching tutorials about how to do eye, eye makeup for like my eye shape and then I've been taking that and I've been adapting it to how I like it and if I like doing the makeup that way or if I think that I would rather do it a different way. So I, I've i been learning and I've been growing and I know how to do my makeup better now and it's been fun but like I miss, I miss getting on here and I miss YouTube and I you know, I was watching um, Angelica Nyquist's video today and it was like from back in August and I don't know how I missed it, but I did. And she was saying that she's met a lot of friends on YouTube and I am a type of person that like, I don't have a lot of friends. I have really, really close friends that are like family, like some of them actually are family that are my friends. Um, but I have these close friends that are family and I, I don't... I don't have like a lot of friends and that's fine with me um but it would be fun to be able to talk to somebody more about like makeup about something I'm interested in because I don't have any friends that are really really into that um I'm just gonna use some of this elf bronzer on my eyes today I'm trying to make this quick because I just looked up and I'm already at 17 minutes and I'm gonna like talk your ear off and you're gonna be like I'm never watching her again but so I, I think it would be fun to build a network of friends. And another thing is I didn't like my name <laughs> that I had created and the name was Natalie Knows Health and Beauty. And I think the reason why I didn't like it is because I feel so insecure with my knowledge about beauty products. I feel like I do not know a whole lot about um, beauty stuff. And so I was, I would just like 
try to talk like I knew what I was doing and I really didn't and I felt like if people were gonna watch my channel and look at my reviews then they'd be like okay what is this girl talking about she has no idea what is going on and it that scared me and it, it I just you know I'm a nurse so I know a little bit about health but um you know you get into your niche of the department you work in and I know what I'm doing in that department, but maybe not everywhere, and I don't know everything about health, and so it just, I don't know, it just, like, it just made me nervous, and uh, that sounds so stupid probably, but I just, I, I didn't, I didn't like my name, and I, it made me feel very self-conscious. I have no idea where the brush is that I'm looking for. Here it is. And so I felt super, super self-conscious. And so I, that is part of what made me feel like I don't want to do this. And I just kind of gave up. And so I uh, changed my name. So my husband lived in Mexico for a couple years and um, no one could pronounce his last name and so um, he um, started spelling his name differently and so that they could pronounce it and so the, my last name is Hughes and it's um, he started spelling it uh, J-I-U-Z and that way um, they could pronounce it correctly and so when we got married I you know was that like girl that would write <laughs> my name with his last name on my notebook and you know at work or whatever because I was out of college by the time I met him and I was still that like young girl that was like so excited to be in love and um, and so when we got married, I didn't like the email address that I had had because it was a, um, it was a high school nickname and I was kind of over it. And so, um, I changed my email address to Hughes Girl and then the year we got married. And so, well, Hughes Girl as in J-I-U-Z. And that just kind of gave me like, I felt like a special tie to to his journey in Mexico and so I that's been like my favorite and I went that's what I was gonna call my channel as Hughes Girl Beauty when I first started and my husband's like no you don't want to do that because nobody can pronounce it it will just confuse everyone and it'll just make it too hard and I'm like oh, you're right you know it's hard to like everybody that I tell my email address to is like now how do you spell that what, what does that say and I would have to explain it to them, but I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't mind explaining it because it's what I wanted from the beginning. It makes me feel comfortable. It is who I am. It ties me to him. Like I, this is, this is what I want my channel to be named. And so that's what I kind of went with, I'm sorry, I'm doing my brows. It's hard for me to talk at the same time and it's super boring. And um, so anyway, um, I feel like Hughes Girl Beauty just basically means that I like beauty. Like I'm, I don't know it. I don't, I'm not claiming to be any kind of expert. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm someone who's learning every day how to do my makeup better. And so if, you know, people don't understand, I guess that's fine. <laughs> because I want people to, like, understand my channel and understand my name and understand, you know, my content and stuff. But I, I want to be real to me and I want to have that tie to my husband and I don't want excuse me to have
of it sound like I know what I'm doing when I feel like I'm flailing around <laughs> and I really don't know what I'm doing. So that's kind of where we're at. I I want this to be fun. I want it. I love makeup. Like I was down there for Thanksgiving and I was like, mom, what do you think? What color do you think I should do on my eyeshadow? And I was doing all these like glam looks and I was using fun palettes and um, I really, I don't even think I took a picture, but I really liked my picture, my makeup for Thanksgiving day. And like it, you know how sometimes you're trying to have a good makeup day and it just is like everything's going wrong and nothing looks like you want it to look and but it like it looked good and I got compliments on it and I I just want I want it to be fun and with me trying to sound like I knew what I was doing I felt like it wasn't fun so I am at 24 minutes now and I need to wrap this up. So I don't think I'm going to put any liner on. Um, it's just going to be like a the look today and I don't care. I'm probably even going to do a lipstick that doesn't even really match this look. So just because I want to do a bolt lipstick that is um, easy to wear and I don't have to let dry down and all of this and so so anyway um that's why I've been missing for so long I will I do still want to do reviews because I was watching see I'm like referring to all these other youtubers I was watching and I think it was Emily Noel that was like I want you to spend your money how you best want to spend it I don't want you to go out and buy it like that's why I'm here I'm here to test product I'm here to um, tell you what I think is good and why I think it's good, but I don't, I don't want to make you feel like you have to go out and buy, well, whoops, <laughs> my husband just called and I used my phone for filming and so while I was chatting with him, I just figured <laughs> I finished doing my makeup and so this is the look we got. Um, I have teeny tiny short lashes and I use Lash Paradise and it actually makes like me look like I have some lashes. So I do like that. So anyway, tell me, comment below what you guys think about everything that I've talked about. Do you guys feel like you're constantly being pushed with new product? You gotta get the newest or latest greatest thing. Um, I actually finally ordered, so through my work, we have this thing where um, if we do a certain amount of like education modules and do something to benefit our health, then we get a $50 gift card to like the place of our choice. And so the gift card that I got was to Sephora. So because I have been dying, dying to um, get the Born to Run palette by Ur Urban Decay. And so I, I waited and I saved up and I waited for this gift card to come and it just barely came in the mail. I thought it was going to be here weeks ago, but it just barely came. So, um, I ordered it and I'm so excited to get it in. So I will do a review of that. Like I will do a review of the products that I get. It's just that I'm not going to be getting a whole lot of new products. Like, I want to shop my stash. I want to like go through what I have and like try it on and see if I see if I it's worth recommending and you know do do reviews on that kind of stuff like I said I have a lot of drugstore stuff but I'm I'm a person who's influenced by other influencers and so I want what they have as well and so there may be times that I get new things but for right now I'm on a very 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 low buy and so I don't know I hope I hope that that sort of makes sense to you that I can just use what I've got and be happy with what I've got and be grateful for what I've got with it just being Thanksgiving week. I am very grateful. I'm very blessed for the things that I have in my life. And I know that, I mean, my cute husband, 
built this desk for me. Um, well, he, we bought it at a thrift store and he put it together for me and he set it all up. He got lighting all set up and stuff. And like I said, I'm still, still trying to figure that out because I feel like it's a little, little bright, but I, I'm grateful for what I have and I want to use what I have. So, um, I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you're having a great day and, um, if you feel like you can, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, so welcome to the new name, Hughes Girl Beauty. I feel so much more comfortable with that because I don't know health and beauty. <laughs> I know some things, but I am learning so much. And so I feel like this is, this is kind of a fresh start for me. I can't guarantee that I will be um, uploading, you know, multiple times a week. But I want to get on here as much as I can. I want to build those friendships. I want to enjoy um, doing YouTube again. And I really enjoyed it for like the first few weeks and I was filming a ton and I was having so much fun, but I got overwhelmed and I don't want to get overwhelmed. I want this to be something that's so fun for me. And so anyway, I know this video is a little bit long and I apologize, but um, it's nice to meet all you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.